uh, but nonetheless, though, kind of pretty out there in Hawaii, too. Pretty sunrise here in Aniston. We do have the clouds coming on in. Temperatures 43 degrees, some light winds, still a lot of dry air over in Aniston here in town, kind of looking at a partly to mostly cloudy morning for the BJCC camera. 47 degrees, dew point also there in the upper 20s. That dry air is making it feel OK outside, but keeping it quite chilly. We're at 45 in Alabaster, but 39 right now over in Tuscaloosa. 37 in Talladega, our cold spot. Gadsden, Asheville at 41 degrees. 45 Coleman back into Jasper now. And look at the temperatures uh, running from 6 to 16 degrees warmer to 18 degrees warmer in Hamilton compared to yesterday at the same time. So remember yesterday was clear. We had the 20s and 30s out there, and now we just have those 30s and 40s. You see the cloud cover. That's the reason why it's a little bit warmer out there. Also looking at, yeah, a couple showers on radar, but remember how I told you how dry it is? A lot of that rain not making it to the ground. It evaporates before that happens. That's called Virga, and it's all thanks to the upper level wave that's moving through, bringing us the cloud cover and trying to squeeze out a few sprinkles this morning, but just not getting any of that out there as we start off our day today. We'll be dry. Temperatures warming up through the 50s at 11 a.m. 62 will be our high temperature for this afternoon. It's not too bad out there. A little bit above the average high of 60 degrees. While we're dry today, rain returns tomorrow. It looks like a wet weather pattern continues into most of next week as well, too, and that's all thanks to what's called the jet stream of river winds aloft with the commercial airliners fly way up there in the atmosphere. When you have a west to east flow, it's called zonal flow in the jet stream, and that's bringing us that little disturbance out there for the day today. It'll push the cold front through the area tomorrow, but the wind behind it not from the north, rather the west, so it's not going to be very cold behind it. Another little upper level wave moves through as we get into Sunday, and that'll bring us another shot of a few sprinkles across the area too. So future cast will continue to show the cloud cover out there today in fairly dry weather, maybe a peak or two of sunshine. May try to briefly clear out there before some rain returns tomorrow morning. Scattered showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. Nothing severe, though. That'll continue through about lunchtime to tomorrow. And then the rain pushes farther to the south, and we'll see a little sunshine briefly before the sun sets on Saturday. Sunday, clouds come back with that next little shot of a few sprinkles. That upper-level wave moves on through. So trying to go find a Christmas tree? Well, I would wait till the afternoon hours there. You can see where things start to dry out. Fairly mild, around 66 degrees for your day on Saturday. Sunday, though, 58 with a few showers coming on in. And unfortunately, that wet weather pattern continues with that storm track still over top of the deep south next week. So there you see there's scattered showers Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but it won't be as cold. Temperatures will be in the 70s versus the 50s. All right. Thank you, Dave.